practice once again. Okay, let us start with the new lesson. We will be discussing heart failure. So we are still under the cardiovascular system, but let's discuss another condition in the drugs we use for heart failure. Okay, so let's define first what heart failure is. What do you mean by heart failure? Heart failure. Nag-fail ang heart sa function niya. Ano ba function ng heart? Ano function ng heart? Anyone. Kasi heart failure ito. Sabi ko, nag-fail ang heart sa kanyang function. And yes, that is correct. To pump blood all over the body. That's the function of the heart. And why do we need to pump blood all over the body? Because the body needs oxygen. Kasi di ba yan naman yung kinakarry ng ating blood, yung oxygen, especially the red blood cells. So kailangan niyang mag-circulate. So all of the parts of our body will have enough oxygen supply. Without oxygen, our other organs cannot function. Even our muscles cannot function if there is no oxygen. Now, what happened to a person with heart failure? The cardiac output, the amount of blood pumped by the heart will not be enough. And therefore, there will be an inadequate oxygen supply in the other parts of the body. So, yun yung talagang problema ng heart failure. Humihina yung heart. Hindi niya na kayang mag-pump ng enough blood. And therefore, bababa din yung supply ng oxygen sa body. That's heart failure. Okay? So, this one is a progressive disease. Hindi naman basta-bastang masisira yung heart na biglang nasira and then ayun na. Ayun, ayun. Progressive disease ito, meaning hinay-hinay na there will be a reduction in the performance of the heart. Hihina yung heart gradually. And this is punctuated, again, this is punctuated in, in many cases by episodes of acute decompensation. So, since humihina yung heart, Merong mga episodes class na talagang bigla siyang hihina na masyado and nakukulangan na talaga ng supply ng oxygen yung body and magre-require yun ng hospitalization. Ito yung tinatawag natin na heart attack sa layman's term. Okay? So again, pagkakos yung heart failure um ng episodes of heart attack plus and that requires hospitalization pag nag heart attack ka biglang um malapit na mag-stop yung iyong heart and yung minsan talaga pag hindi naagapan magse-stop talaga siya ng sa kanyang function so that will require hospitalization so what are the most common causes bakit nagkakaroon ng heart failure bakit humihina yung function ng heart hindi na siya nakakapag-supply ng enough blood and oxygen in the body Number one cause is coronary artery disease or the CAD. Again, coronary artery disease. Yung ating heart class, meron din siyang sarili niyang arteries. Okay? Meron din siyang sariling arteries kasi yung heart muscle also requires blood supply. Yung heart natin is a muscle and for the muscle to contract, it needs oxygen also. So some of the blood pumped by the heart will go to the heart muscle mismo. And dadaan siya sa coronary artery, arteries natin. Now, if you have a coronary artery disease, it means merong kang problem dito. And ano yung mga problem na yan? Pwedeng merong atherosclerosis. So what do you mean by atherosclerosis? It's a plaque na madedeposit dyan sa arteries na yan, yes, very good, may presence of plaque buildup, that's atherosclerosis. It's a plaque class na madedeposit dyan in the blood vessels, leading to the decrease in the 
ano, in the pathway of the blood, hindi na siya makakadaan ng maayos. So, konti yung flow ng blood sa heart mismo. So, pag nakulangan siya ng blood supply, nakulangan siya ng oxygen, mahina na class yung magiging contraction ng heart. So, that is now the one one of the causes ng heart failure. So, ano yung plak na ito? Atherosclerosis. Ano itong nag-build up dito? Ano yung nagiging plak? Bakit may tumitigas na bagay dyan? Ano yan? What do you think is that? Ano yan? Carbs? Fats? Ano ba talaga ang nag-build up dyan to form the plaque? The atherosclerotic plaque? The one that builds up the plaque is the cholesterol. Okay, very good. It's the cholesterol. Yan yung titigas, especially in the presence of calcium. If you have too much cholesterol in your blood, And then in the presence of calcium, titigas kasi siya class yung cholesterol and madedeposit siya in the blood vessels. Hindi fats ha. Fats are different from cholesterol. Though isa sila ng umbrella sa mga ma macromolecules natin, they are included sa lipids. Pero these two are different things. Ang nadedeposit class yung cholesterol. Okay? Starts with C. Okay, so ang mangyayari again, liliit yung dadaanan ng ating blood dito. And uh, in some cases kasi, yung platelet, pag naungot na siya din, mag-form na siya yung blood clot. So in the case of acute decompensation or in the case of a heart attack class, ito yung mangyayari. Magkakaroon ng blood clot dito. At talagang masesirado yung daanan ng blood papunta sa heart muscles. And yun yung time na magka-heart attack ang patient kasi wala nang blood supply sa heart mismo. Wala nang oxygen. And kung nakikita, nakikita kayo ng nag-heart attack, mahihirapan siyang huminga. Okay? And aside from that, hypertension, untreated or uncontrolled hypertension can also lead to heart failure. Bakit? Kasi if this is your blood vessel and you, if you have uncontrolled blood pressure, um, kadugayan class, maguba na yung mga blood vessels din. Masisira yung mga blood vessels due to the increase in the blood pressure. And these blood vessels can, if, if destroyed, can no longer accommodate blood. And ganun pa rin yung mangyayari. A little amount of blood will reach the muscles of the heart leading to decrease in oxygen supply. So, hihina yung contraction ng heart nun. Yun yung mangyayari class sa heart failure. Ito yung mga causes. Okay? Do you have questions? 